Uh, well, thank you again, I'll be bought. Thank you for uh, inviting me here to speak to you tonight. I'll give you a quick background about myself. My name is Aaron Ringel. I uh, run for House of Delegates in the 48th District as the Republican candidate. I am a former Marine. I served as an Arabic linguist in the United States Marine Corps uh, in Iraq in 2005. I worked on Capitol Hill as a legislative assistant, uh, handling issues such as transportation, energy, environment, uh, veterans affairs, uh, from top to bottom, I, I've done it all, so I know it. I know the legislative system well, and I want to talk to you tonight a little about a bit about protection versus progress. Now, I've heard Bob's speech many times. That was I could have given that one. I heard it. We've, we've had five debates, so I think we know each other pretty well by now. And I find that there's a definite difference between this protection versus progress. Right now, what I've seen in his his points were all protective. And I ask you, over the last 12 years, has our transportation system progressed? Have we made gains? Has traffic gotten less? Have we reduced traffic? Do we have less in the way of cars going through our neighborhoods? Are the metros running smoother? And I would ask you to think about that. And I can answer that myself and say, no, they haven't. And I go to door to door. I go to door these doors, and I've done thousands of them, and the first thing people tell me is not about the environment or, you know, taking care of protect, protecting our services. It's about transportation and the economy and taxes. And I speak to them. I, I say, you know, what is the number one issue affecting you and your family today? And nine times out of ten, it's either economy or transportation. And I, I haven't seen progress in the last 12 years. I, I will be the first to say that I do believe we need to address the 66 issue. I do believe we need one more lane westbound within the existing right of way with, uh, with the preservation of the bike path and within the existing sound barrier. Commerce is the lifeblood of Arlington. We are a net importer of people that work in Arlington versus exporter. We have roughly 130,000 people that come into Arlington to work. We export something like 70,000. And this was based on 2,000 census data from the year 2000. So, obviously, it's gone up. And traffic's a net, it's an equivalent. If it's going down the roads or through the neighborhoods, it's all going to be there at the same time. So let's get them out of the neighborhoods, get them on 66. And we have to have solutions that work for the community. We have to be multimodal. We can't just focus on cars. We have to focus on buses, making transportation run smoother. Uh, one of the main barriers between getting people out of their cars in all-mass transit is the technology and knowledge gap. I suggest we invest in a system that most of you have right now. It's a Blackberry or iPhone or something like that. It's the poor group that's not using these, multi these mass transit areas. It's because they don't know where their bus stop is at. They don't know when the next train's going to come. What can take me from here to there? I suggest we put a little application on your Blackberry. It'll shoot you right to where you need to go. That's, that's an easy way to get people out of their cars. Make it easier for them to take the bus. I'm about pulling people out and having them use mass transit rather than pushing them. But we need to address the economic realities of the situation. Bob was running a little late today, stuck on 95. I mean, it is raining, I'll give you that. It was raining. But that, that road is a, another major log jam. And we're talking about hot lanes. And I'll dispel a rumor. Yeah, Bob doesn't support hot lanes. And he, he'll take money from the contractors, you know, the flower, but it doesn't mean he supports it. He does not support hot lanes, and that's fine. We have to have multimodal solutions, I think that's important, but we need to also move traffic. So, just in a summation of that, I'm, I'm all, all of the above, and we gotta do multimodal. The economy, I believe we have to tighten the belts, absolutely. Although I'm, I'm not offering you protection, I'm offering you progress. He says the next two years are gonna be very important for our budgets down in Richmond. Well, that's gonna affect everybody up here, and I do support selling the ABC stores to uh, help fund transportation. I'm not going to run from that. But I believe that's an immediate one-time gain. We have to make sure that we have a progression so that when our recovery happens, we can actually implement transportation solutions over the long term. And we have to explore other options of raising revenue, whether that be the royalties in the long term that come from using the clean natural gas deposits that are much cleaner than uh, burning fossil fuels like coal or standard oil or nuclear. We need to expand them. We could be a net energy uh, exporter rather than an importer like we are now. 
And I think that's important. And more of my issues are in my grip card, like Bob's. And I highly recommend you take a look at the website. It's pretty fantastic. It's uh, ringlefordelegate.com. And thank you. I look forward to some questions.